Alright, fellow YouTubers. We are going to uh, draw some bubbles today. And you're wondering how we're going to do that? Well, we've got these circle things. So what you want to do is, to show you how to create the bubbles that I do, you can start with using just a regular quarter. With a regular pen, ink pen, I even use in a which is .30 pen. Draw circles, connect circles together. You can do all kinds of stuff here. There's a penny. Connect a small one with a dime. Do a couple more down here. Got this big one here. You can add it down to here like this. That's how you do the bubbles. No, I'll well, overlap it there a little bit. Um, well, once you get the bubbles the way you want to, you want to maybe figure out where the light is coming on this side at 2 o'clock or going this way. We'll do it this way, so you want this area darkened a little bit. And the way we do that is we're going to do some hatching with lines. I think this is a 20 minute video, so I've got enough time, hopefully, to show you how to do this. The bubbles are fun to do. Water has bubbles. I go to the beach a lot, so I see a lot of water and bubbles. Wave bubbles are fun, too. Uh, this is just one particular way I do them. Yeah, I'm more of a realist ink drawer. I like beach scenes, boats, landscape, nature scenes. But sometimes you have to have a little bit of fun. And this is fun. Like, draw something different. So I'm creating some kind of like effect where on the shading, which on the round part here is going to be dark. It's going to be light here. And you want to do this also with this little bubble here. Yeah, the light's coming from this way at 2 o'clock and it's shining so it's going to be darker here at the bottom. And the bubbles below the other bubbles on the edge there it's going to be dark. You can use cross hatching as I pointed out right here. A little bit more of a shading right here. I'm using just lines. If you can draw lines, you can you can start drawing. Yeah, I mean, you can do more detail. You see, that's how you do the bubbles. Now, I'm using coins. You can use anything round. Um, a plate. You can make them really big and and cool looking. I would just use this. Alright, that's looking pretty cool so far. The bubbles, huh? And whatever you want to do, you want to use watercolor? I'm going to use a, pen a pencil, a blue color pencil. Let's add a little bit more darkness. Actually, this one here, too, needs a little bit more. Okay, what, what I'm going to do with this color pencil, let's do the shading around here, see. Add, you're going to make, draw some blue color. And the light will be in the middle, I guess. And with the big one, I'll just start. It's going to be all blue here. You can get different types of color, blue, a, a darker blue too, but we'll just use this one. And 
the ink the lines will will create the darkness that I'm more more wanted. You you can do a lot of detail on this. And as you've seen the pictures, it, it, they have taken me a while to do. I'm just doing this fast for this. It's a 20 minute video. And I think I've done this like four or five times to get it right. So I've drawn too many bubbles. I need to go on and do something else after I get done with this video. <laughs> Even though they're fun, you know, it's. There are a lot more other things I would want to do. Okay. <clears throat> We're wrapping around more darkness in the edges. See? And then you get the lighter colors. How's that? It's going to be lighter here in the middle of all the bubbles with the lights coming down this way. So I guess I'll name this How to Draw Bubbles. Blue Bubbles. Blue Ocean Deep Bubbles. I fish a lot, so I'm around water. So what I'm trying to show is that you, you when I have the lines, not just pull it in like this, you want to go with the flow, and the flow is... flow is like, create something around. Oops, just broke my pencil. See? And in the middle it's going to be lighter. And you want to have some white paper blend in there. Alright, that's how you do it.